Well, hello everyone. Happy New Year. I can't believe we're already halfway through January, but because I haven't seen any of you yet, wishing you a very happy New Year. I hope the holidays are fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us today for Style Stories. For those who haven't had a chance to join me for, I'm Kate Bellman, Editorial Content Director here at Nordstrom. And I'm so happy to be spending this Friday with you. It really is my favorite day of the month. So so excited. All right, now, before we get into all of this fun and fantastic product, I wanna share some highlights of this shopping event. First of all, most importantly, all of this product I'm sharing with you today is completely shoppable. So pay attention as you're watching, look into that chat, then we'll pop up a link, click right in there. You can see any of this product on model. If there's additional colors, search around, find the right one, add to your cart. This is instant gratification at its best, right? Okay, now secondly, we are coming to you today live from our Seattle flagship store in the, right downtown. So I'm talking to you real time. I would love to hear from you too. Let me know where you're watching from, any comments, what you're loving, any questions too. We'll have a Q&A portion uh, towards the end. So would love to hear from you real time. All right, all that fine print out of the way. Let's get right into today's event. We are talking the wardrobe refresh, right? Now this doesn't mean new year, new wardrobe, quite the contrary. What we're talking about is really refining and curating your ultimate wardrobe. So one that will work for the rest of the year for all your needs. Now, I don't know about you, but I really do like to start the beginning of the year or even a new season really, spend some time in my closet do a really big clean out, identify what I love. I really honestly do the Marie Kondo of touching everything in my closet, figuring out what I still love, figuring out what I wanna get rid of, whether I'm donating it or giving it to friends and also identifying where I might have some voids. So once I've completed that clean out, I really like to get to the fun stuff, get inspired, seek out inspiration, whether I'm looking on Instagram or social media or within magazines or even our own thread editorial section. Lots of great content there identifying the key must have items for the season and the trends. So with that, let's get started. I wanna show you some of my favorite pieces to start integrating for this year that will just get you through the entire 2024 year feeling just like you had that slight refresh in your wardrobe, all right? Let's get started, okay. The trench coat. I don't know where you are right now. If you are in Seattle where I am or maybe somewhere in the Midwest, the Northeast, it has gotten cold. It was literally 19 degrees as I was coming into the office today. So we are bundling up for sure. But once the season starts to slightly change, maybe in a few weeks, maybe in a few months, great to have that transitional outerwear piece. Nothing says that like the classic timeless trench coat. So first up from Open Edit, Love this one for so many reasons. It's lightweight. It's also part of our um, Nordstrom for Good sustainability. So this is actually made out of recycled materials. That's the other great thing about uh, really investing in these timeless essential pieces. You're going to have them forever. So we're talking about, you know, when we talk about sustainable style, that really is bringing in these investment pieces that you are going to wear now, love forever, okay? Open up it. Open at, excuse me, great uh, example of that. You have the classic double breasted, um, nice easy collar, the back, um, the vent flap. So it's just perfect. It also has a slightly uh, skirted waist. So once you do that cinch, you get a little bit of skirted waist and goes about just to your mid calf. So this is just the ultimate essential timeless classic trench and under $150, right? Next up, Barber. No one does transitional outerwear or outerwear for the elements like Barber. I mean, literally, it's you know, been worn by the, the queen and royalty. It's such a heritage classic brand. So great for um, just transitional outerwear. I love this one for so many reasons. I think we all know Barber for that the wax version or some of their quilting. This one's a little different. The material is slightly more twilled. Love that since waistline. It gives you kind of a little, um, little more touch of a detail. It's got this oversized hood, which is amazing, especially in the Pacific Northwest where it rains until the cows come home. So you're gonna need that hood, but just a really great easy throw on. This is something that's perfect for both the weekend, something very casual, or absolutely you can throw it on on the way to work. It makes a great commuting option. So 
fantastic piece from Barber. Next in our trench category from Totem. I love this item. It is getting up there more in the price points. Totem is a brand that we carry in our space, which is really our emerging and advanced um, designer area. Great take on the double breasted, right? So you have these kind of over exaggerated buttons running all the way down the front, the slight um, slit pockets, just a very straight silhouette too. So easy to wear. I love sort of the exaggerated um, ties on the, the wrist as well. So just really interesting touches to get give your classic trench and makeover. So you see the two versions of the open edit, which is really your classic silhouette, and a really kind of fun, fresh, modern take on that from Totem. All right, talking about tailoring, it's still important, it's still essential. I know this pa these past few years, we've really been investing in blazers. It's an important key piece in our, our wardrobe. I wanna show you some um, new ones that have just hit the floor and online. First up from um, Veronica Beard, just your classic one button. Navy, starting to see a bit more navy emerge coming through from classic black uh, camels, gray um, uh, color palette there. So love the idea of just a clean, easy navy one button blazer from Veronica Beard. And then your double breasted from Theory. This is a really, it's hard to tell on camera. It's a beautiful kind of load in uh, green color. So this is just a different uh, version than something I might already have. Again, I'm pretty covered in my black blazer. so. Love the idea of just these new neutrals with the navies and the hunter greens and something a little more rich. So again, that double breasted, it's lightweight enough wool too that you could definitely wear this into the spring season. All right, so that's sort of our more classic traditional blazers. Seeing other things happening in jackets too. So uh, this version from Veronica Beard, the ivory, you get a slight um, peplum shape. This is great for the high-waisted silhouettes, right? So whether it's high-waisted denim or a high-waisted trouser or skirt, really goes back so classically with that. This is something too I would almost wear as a top. So I'd probably wear it buttoned up with maybe just a camisole underneath um, and really leverage this as sort of my top for the, for the outfit. Another favorite jacket silhouette ha we have coming up is that oversized bomber, right? So this was really important and influential a few seasons ago in kind of its, um, in nylon, which is what you see a lot of bombers. Love that we're seeing more materials uh, take shape within these oversized bombers. This faux leather from Topshop. Uh, we have some twill versions. We've had some uh, fleece and faux fur. So just look for some updates there because this is a really great silhouette to take you from winter into the spring season. You're gonna get a lot of wear out of something like this. What I love about that oversized silhouette too is it fits great over sweaters. Sometimes I really struggle with finding the right jacket or outerwear to wear over sweaters. So love a good oversized shape. All right, while we're talking about my loves, I have to mention the striped sweater. It's so classic, obviously. It kind of has this little nautical reference, especially as we head into the resort season and you're getting away and you just want an easy throw on sweater, but something that you can wear in the colder seasons into the spring and summer. This version from Totem really sort of launched this big trend. So this is a sweater you probably saw on influencers or in your social media account. This was definitely sort of the sweater du jour, very influential, it has this kind of oversized shape, also comes in a white grounding too. So you've probably seen it. This is the one, we have it. It's the one that started it all. Has that um, high neckline turtleneck silhouette too. Here's some other options and other silhouettes and price points too. So I love this one from Alex Mill. They're a great brand, both men and women's, very sort of preppy, classic and aesthetic. Um, so love this uh, sipped polo from them. White with the heather uh, charcoal gray ground, which is a fun take, because I feel like normally you're seeing stripes in classic blacks or whites or navy. So I like the, the different take with this charcoal gray. And then as we're continuing to talk about the lady jacket shape, similar to their Veronica beard, this version from Rag and Bone has the classic uh, gold sort of military styling buttons, great rib knit. This is a perfect transitional item. You can absolutely wear this now with a longer layer or even a blouse that sort of peaks out and then into the spring summer months a little bit more open or just as a third layer over a sleeveless dress. And then just to have to show one of my favorite, just throw on easy sweaters from Vins. It's just, I am a sucker for crew neck. I eat them up in solid colors. Love this one from Vins. Other great options from Lulu Studio and Rails. So if you're just looking for the perfect throw on uh, crew neck sweater, had to share one of my favorites. 
All right, what's happening in denim, you ask? I've got you covered, here we go. All about the wide leg, right? So I'm not even gonna address skinny this year on Style Stories. We're done talking about it. If you still have it in your wardrobe and it's important, you know, essential for you, absolutely keep wearing it. But if we're looking to really refresh our denim, head to wide leg. I would say straight leg for every day. Wide leg is sort of that slight more push in fashion. I just had a show because I walked by them on the floor and was obsessed. This uh, paneled pair from Frame. Also uh, recycled materials. It's actually regenerative materials. So it's fantastic innovation in the de coming out of the denim world, but they are just a statement piece of denim. So this is something that I would wear, um, you know, a more kind of simple top um, up top, especially something like, again, back to our more lady, uh, classic sil silhouettes would look great with something like the, these pair of denims. So really let the jeans do the talking for you when you get something like the statement piece from frame. Citizens of Humanity also does a great wide leg jean. I think if you click into the um, cell shot of these, you'll actually see them rolled up. So it's another great way to kind of get some styling uh, functionality with them, especially if they're running a little long. Play with, the, play with the length and whatever works for you. So love this pair, it's just an easy throw on. Again, something that looks great back to um, blazers. So I think we feel with the wide leg, they feel maybe a little too casual in nature. They're harder to wear. Pull them back together for sort of that refined polished um, styling with something like a blazer. So it makes a great pairing there, that juxtaposition of timeless, classic refinement back to the more casual nature of the jean. All right, outside just the jean bottom world, let's talk total denim. I'm sure we all have our classic kind of trucker style from Levi or Madewell, just that everyday easy denim jacket. We have some great new updates uh, this month that I wanted to share as we're talking about a wardrobe refresh, maybe refresh with a different silhouette. Love this um, from We The Free. The oversized pocket sort of has that 70s vibe. It's very oversized in shape and nature, a little bit swingy. Um, so just easy to throw on. It's also something you could layer underneath now under a kind of oversized wool coat and then wear on its own to get you through the spring, summer. Makes a great packing item as well. And then from Fear of God Essentials, again, as we're talking about that bomber influence and new materials, um, love the style from them as well. It's that sort of uh, slight zip. It's kind of got that, that golf silhouette in nature. And then denim skirts, they will continue. We started to talk about them last year. Longer lengths, A-line, pencil, whatever silhouette works for you, that's great. Identify that and then get your denim skirt. So this is a great version from ALC. Um, it's a little more statement in nature. It has that double slit, so it's perfect right now in the colder months with a tall boot. And then it looks so chic and pulled together in the spring and summer with a kind of naked sandal or a easy thong flip-flop. Has those kind of cargo utility details as well. So great details on this uh, skirt from ALC. All right, as we're talking skirts, skirts are taking off again. They're a great uh, style staple. So want to show you some of my favorites that you're going to get a lot of wear of. Look for these simple um, skirt slip silhouettes. This one is from Topshop. It has a little more um, detail to it with the seaming um, and the slight bias shape, but these are really easy to wear. And what I love most about them is either with a more kind of cropped and fitted sweater, especially love that monochrome look. This is a really great um, a uh, styling tip this season is look for monochrome, but differentiation in textures and materials, or something a little bit more oversized, like the toe temp sweater. So you're getting kind of getting that long, lean silhouette, even though it's oversized on top. All right, next up, pinstripe. We're seeing quite a bit of pinstripe, but again, bringing in that tailoring and the menswear influence. So love this from um, Topshop also. Has that kind of faux uh, wrap, silhouette. These are great with a pair of tall boots for the office. I also love, as you can probably tell from my stripe on stripe, um, something like that back to, again, because we have the gray uh, stripe version from Alexville. I mean, that's just a kind of fun print mixing, but very subtle uh, styling option there. And then just a really another beautiful, easy skirt here from ALC. Um, nice ivory. 
Ivory to me goes with everything. I know we say no white after Labor Day. That, it, that rule is dead to me. We do it year round, especially this beautiful winter white. Um, so pretty back to, again, something like a clean neutral, like the um, double-breasted blazer from Theory. I'm gonna go real quick through the trousers. It is all about the wide leg trouser, similar to the jean, very easy silhouette to wear. Here are two of my favorites. So classic from ALC. Again, the navy that we're seeing quite a bit of. You just can't go wrong. I mean, this is an investment, but you would wear this. You could literally wear this with anything in your closet, whether it is the more uh, dressed up, polished Veronica beer jacket. It would look cool with, uh, you know, open free people, a t-shirt and a pair of sneakers. So there's a lot of wear you're going to have out of these ALC. So definitely, again, worth that investment. That's my other tip too, is look for things that are versatile, that you're gonna wear two, three, four ways. I don't wear anything or buy anything that's a one and done. I definitely want to buy something that I can wear, casual, dressed up, to the office, even to an event. I get my wear out of my clothes, I promise. Also love these from Vince, another soft uh, material. Again, with that um, kind of utility reference in nature with the stitching. So really easy pull on um, pair from Vince. All right, when it comes to dresses, we're gonna talk a little bit more next month about the return of the work dress or the sheath or the shift, really re-emerging again for your perfect office wardrobe. But just wanna show some great um, transitional items, especially as we're continuing this hybrid work wear. Um, love this version from Rails. It's a rib knit, buttons all the way down. Again, something great you can layer over as it's freezing and frigid out and then wear it on its own in the spring and summer season. Another great option for this too, come spring, is you know wear it open and wear a slip dress under and you're getting that layer over, um, over top of it too. And then a little fit and flare kick uh, shift dress from Theory here. Love that little polo collar. We're definitely seeing more of these polo silhouettes coming out of the knitwear world, whether it's sweaters or cashmere or a knit dress. So just one option, again, Looks great styled under something for the colder months, you know, from now through March, and then wear on its own until um, late spring. So great option here from Theory. Quick little tidbit on t-shirts. I love a classic crew neck t-shirt. Just wanted to share some of my favorites. This made well, absolutely. Skims makes a great one. So as we're talking about things that I generally have to maybe refresh at the start of the year, it's usually my white t-shirts. And these are usually the ones I had to very quickly. Just want to point out my friend over here. I don't want to have her leave out her little mannequin outfit. These rag and bone jeans, I don't know for those who are as old as me or older, remember the uh, looks like a pump, feels like a sneaker uh, commercial back in the 80s. This is like looks like a jean, feels like a lounge pan. They're so incredibly soft. You can see my, my phone sticking out of them. It's actually faux pockets on the back. And they're just meant to look like a denim, but just feel like the softest, silkiest pair of pants you've ever put on. So great option there from Rag and Bone. This would make a great travel pant too. Also just wanna point out quickly, my favorite little new tote from Madewell, under $200. We all know and love their transport tote that has been around for years, really the DNA of their brand. This is a great new updated shape, has a top handle as well as a shoulder strap. It even fits over as a crossbody, so you're gonna get a lot of wear for sure out of this tote. Anyone who's has a Madewell tote knows how much they um, work. And really, you fit your laptop, you fit your lunch, you fit your change of shoes. Great commuter option. Shimmy her on up. Okay, let's get some questions. This is why I have my phone in my friend over here. Coming in hot. All right, how do you not blow the bank shopping new trends every season? Uh, that's a great question. I can't say I've always been great at it. I've gotten so much better and here's why, because I really do, people do New Year's resolutions. I do sort of intentions around my closet, what I'm gonna be shopping, how I'm gonna be dressing. This year it really is all about shopping my closet and buying those key essentials that are going to layer back to it to really help elevate it and make it feel like I always have something, uh, you know, kind of classic and timeless to throw on and feel good. So, you know, that's something I've really had to kind of focus on and consciously make an effort around, but just don't get too sort of overwhelmed and seeing what's coming in that's new. Take some time and think about 
the trends or the must have items and what would work for you or layer really well into your wardrobe or lifestyle. So I think it's just taking a moment, thinking it through. Great question. What are you most looking forward to buying this spring? That is a good question. I am always on the hunt for the perfect wide leg trouser. I have probably more than I can count, which is never enough. So I do just love a high waisted wide leg trouser and I've got my eye on some. I will also say, and I don't have any shoes and many handbags to share, but I will uh, next month. That's soft flat. It's really going to be a new silhouette for this season. We saw quite a bit of it coming through uh, last year. It's going to just continue in a big way this spring. I don't have just a very clean, easy, um, soft flat. So that's one. What trends are out that I should stop wearing? Great question. You know, if you love your clothes, wear it. Feel good about it. Look for styling inspiration to find new ways to wear it. You know, come in the store online. We have a fantastic fleet of stylists, uh, you know, that, that are here to help. It's a free and convenient service. So definitely tap into them to find new ways to wear your clothes. I don't think there's any trends I would say to just, you know, turn the other cheek or to get rid of. I think it's just continuing to evolve how you want to update them until you no longer love them. So that's my point of view. What's the go-to shoe style this season, specifically one that will be comfy for whatever occasion I'm dressing? Well, fortunately, we are heading into, as we're you know, coming out of the fall and it's definitely was starting to emerge, it is the season of the flats. Whether it's a soft flat that I was referencing, a ballet silhouette or a loafer, you can do no wrong wearing a flat this season. So they are always comfortable, fortunately, for the most part, and then very many stylish versions, no matter you know, what silhouette you want to go with. So I say find your, find your perfect flat. I've gotten a few metallic sparkle pieces for the holidays last year. Now that the festivities are over, is it appropriate to subtly incorporate post-holiday? I am a big fan for sparkle year-round. I really am. I'm sort of like a, something is shiny. I'm just a total magpie and drawn to it. So I say absolutely yes. What I would say, though, is whatever you style with should feel a little bit more toned down. So I love the idea of sequin, a sequin skirt, but maybe back to a denim shirt or a gray uh, sweatshirt, a pair of Converse chocks. Just look for that juxtaposition. I mean, I think even something like the metallic Topshop skirt, you could make a case. This would have been a great holiday uh, piece, but then wear it back to something that feels more toned down and casual, like the, um, the bomber from Essentials here. So... Again, it's all about that styling mix so it doesn't look like you're headed to a party 24 seven. You know, wear to the office, wear to Whole Foods. If it makes you happy, that's all that matters. People love the silver top shop skirt. I'm seeing five comments about it. I do too. It actually, I believe comes in three colors, black and a really pretty mustardy gold. So if silver's not your thing, one of those three, and they're just fantastic. You're gonna get a lot of wear out of them. So I am with you. Donna likes my boots. Thank you. I was just thinking this morning as I put them on, my biggest regret is not getting them in black as well. So I am with you, Donna. Thank you. And Linda loves what I'm wearing. Thank you very much. I am wearing Koss, which we have um, online and in several stores. It's a standalone brand that we started carrying a few uh, seasons ago. They are my apps. Talk about timeless essentials. They are my absolute go-to for that. I think great. Those were great questions. I'm gonna slip my phone back into my friend's pocket here. All right, thank you for submitting those. And if you are watching on Facebook or YouTube, please feel free to leave um, more questions throughout the week. I will absolutely check back. I'm here to help. So thank you so much for watching everyone. Now please join me back here in a month on February 16th for our February style stories. We are going to be talking about all the fantastic new arrivals for your wear to work wardrobe. Where to work wardrobe. Say that three times fast, I dare you. Okay, so whether you're back in the office, working from home, a little bit in between, we've got you covered, all right? Stay warm wherever you are. As I said, it's freezing cold here in Seattle, so enjoy the long weekend if you have one, and take care. Happy shopping. Bye.